Hi, Leo. It's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this, Leo. Thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. Leo, know that you can find me every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. I go live. I answer questions. I do a collective reading. So if you have a question, find me live tonight. Tonight, Today is Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so Leo, how you are coming to the reading is, so what? I lied. I'm a narcissist. Hmm. Interesting. Um... Don't beat me up down in the comments too much, Leo. It could also be vice versa. Um, you know, maybe maybe you lied to protect yourself. Uh, if this is you, Leo. Um, some of you, you now, you know, every Leo out there isn't good and great. Um, but I know my Leos that watch the, the channel, uh, that subscribe to the channel are. Um, so we'll talk about maybe the lying uh Maybe because you're trying to protect yourself. You're trying to protect yourself in terms of not getting hurt, not putting too much out there. Um, maybe you told someone what they wanted to hear because it was more so about protecting their emotions, their feelings, too. Um, also, again, I'm getting, I'm just keep picking up scared, scared, afraid, afraid of somebody knowing the truth uh, of the matter. Uh, and then some of you, you just lie because you are a narcissist. This is what you you do this is how you operate this is how you move um and maybe you, you know this about yourself and there needs to be some changed behavior um you're at a place of maybe even accepting this about yourself because you're saying so what i lied therefore you're not really taking on uh the mindset of okay i lied and i'm going to change but more so so what i lied this is who i am i'm a narcissist um i accept me you need to accept me or not you know um your person is coming to the reading as the fool so i don't know they may be wanting to go in a new direction new development they don't want to deal okay or they want no strings attached to this they or they want to sever tie or sever the sever the strings that are attached maybe somebody was doing a cord cutting ceremony or somebody's just really trying to get out of this whatever it is somebody's trying to go the other way a new development new direction um someone understands that um th they're fine they're fine fit fabulous okay and they just need to really put themselves out there maybe even re-enter the dating market again it's like somebody starting over so your person feels like they're starting over um maybe even spontaneously we got the full card the universe i'm not saying the universe but uranium uranus um is uh governing the full card could be dealing with an aquarius so there's like an energy of uh spontaneous you know being someone being spontaneous or it was out of the blue or unknown or all of a sudden you know the energy of okay i'm done i'm going the other way um and now it's making either you or your other person uh leo is making somebody kind of um fantasize be in fantasy about maybe what they can say to get this person back as maybe is making someone really feel that they weren't um as committed as they should have been that they procrastinated there's a lot of wishful thinking all because somebody is choosing to move on and they could be moving on in secrecy trying to keep it a secret they're trying to I heard keep the secret location doesn't even want you to know where they live or vice versa. You don't want someone to know where you live. Someone's trying to move on. They have rationalized this moving on. It just makes sense to do so. Move on from the hurt of previous relationships. Move on literally. Uh, a move out of the house. Uh, someone doesn't want the other person to know who they're dealing with, talking to, where they live. Somebody is fantasizing because there's an energy of not knowing of magic or mystery here also somebody doesn't know so they they can only just rest in fantasy uh 
wishful thinking, maybe even think of what they can say to bring this person back in or reel them back in. The outcome here is someone being addicted. They're only addicted because they're getting left. Somebody is leaving. Someone has left. These are two Aquarius cards, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but there's an energy of somebody's leaving. Someone's finally put something to rest, and now there's an energy of somebody being addicted now. Only because something has, it's displacement happened, okay? Somebody left, and now they took with them the sunshine, okay? They took the happiness. They took the fulfillment. Um, there's a void. Now it, I, I'm addicted to getting those good feelings back, says the Seven of Cups. There could also be somebody drinking a lot, overindulging. This is hallucinogens. This is somebody who hallucin hallucinates. This is somebody who could be mentally, emotionally unstable. They can come unravel easily. This is somebody who's fragile mentally. The two, these two cards together. Um... <laughs> Somebody could be stable at one point and then they could just, just go into a place of uh, instability. Um, but yeah, somebody's addicted. And it could even be addicted to substance. If not addicted to substance, then somebody's addicted to somebody's good nature because they don't possess it. Um, this is what I have for you, Leo. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. You can always ask a question by texting it to the number below. You can uh, find me live tonight at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, tonight, Today is Sunday. Uh, you can also um, donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings.